Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Video 3 in this series and we are playing Manor Lords. So just to recap what happened in the second video, we had our field, uh, which now is almost finished growing. We're into our second year now, just entered second year. Uh, our tavern is under construction, we have our uh, church being upgraded. Uh, we also have our manor house, we've uh, acquired stone. We started to expand on our land and we actually had a fight with some bandit camps in the last video and we now have New England as well as London. So we have these two areas now and we've started building out here as you can see. So building this house out, got some stuff that's being built and what we're going to do right now is we've got to manage two separate entities. So if one wasn't hard enough, we've now got two to manage. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make things a little bit quicker so we can keep an eye on things. Now... The same thing that we talked about before, see that's in New England now, so it tells you that things are done in the other place, uh, so that you can simply head across to them. So I can click here, uh, you should be able to head across to the other place, but at the moment that doesn't work, so we'll, we'll just zoom out, I don't know if there's a quicker and easier way to go between places, um, but at the moment it just seems like we're going to be doing it this way, so, alright. The logging camp is done, so we can now put somebody in here. In fact, we'll do what we did before. We'll put three people in here to get this logging. Uh, we've got the hitching post. Uh, the worker camp is fine. That's working. Supplies are there. Storehouse is there. So we need to put one person in the storehouse. And they are going to collect all of this material. And they'll put it in. That's great. And then this is being built as well. So kind of everything that we need here. All right, so as we did before, in the middle here, we're going to head up. And then at the bottom, we're going to head down just to create a little bit of space here. Now, what we can do is start to work out what this would look like or if we were to build our houses. So starting here, coming out uh, and coming back, we want to kind of get to that place where we can have three and those three we can double up. So we need kind of five. So that looks like a decent uh, plot of land right there with a decent sized... Um, section at the back. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and build that out there and uh, to the other side. It's quite difficult not being able to measure things because you don't really know um, how I would say it's going to work out. But this is, this looks pretty, pretty good. It's a, a decent enough size square and I guess that's part of the uh, the beauty of this is not having everything ex if you've got an OCD like me sometimes you like things to look good but this is the kind of square we're looking for so again exactly as we did before uh, we haven't got any timber at the moment so we are waiting on that timber um, this New England uh, burgage plot is now finished that's good so now we can go ahead and get that timber going so let's just make this a little bit faster right now and this is another reason why you need the plots to be self-sustainable. If they're self-sustainable, you don't need to put too much effort into them. Um, you'll be able to manage multiple plots. All right, so a food stall's just finished in London, which is nice. Uh, the storehouse, all of the stores are being picked up. That's good. And now we have some timber. We can go ahead with our construction. And we can go ahead with our logistics and build ourselves that granary that we need. Just put that down there. Excellent. And now we should be able to, as before, just build out the additional resonant plots that we need. So we'll go ahead, build them along this road. Yeah, we're going to come all the way to the back here. Hmm. Oh, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough. I was wondering why that doesn't work because we don't have enough timber at the moment, so that's fine. This plot's not quite big enough, but that's okay. That's okay, we can make this work. So we just want to go faster, get a little bit more timber. There we go, and now we can build these. So we'll go across the front. Uh, we'll go all the way to the back, and then... Okay, so we kind of want to go... Uh, I guess we can do it to, to here. Um, that's not quite right if we look at that. So I guess we'll go all the way back and then we'll... 
So it's trying to connect it to the other one there. So we could, we'll just do it like that. That's fine. This works. All right, we're going to go ahead and build that. It's a little bit weird, but that's fine. All right. Then we'll do the same on the other side, but we need a little bit more timber in order to do that. Also, remember, we're going to need to get food. So that's another thing. Um, so we can do that. And this is a really good time to be able to do that as well. So we're going to forage. So in terms of foraging, we want to set this on just on the outskirts here. So uh, this is a bit of a distance away, unfortunately. So there's no real easy way to deal with this. We're just going to have to put this down, uh, I guess, kind of like around this area. So we're going to get rid of some trees, unfortunately, there. And then we're also going to uh, put this down. There we go. So we'll put these two down here. And then we're going to put that down here. Now we could have put that a lot closer to here. That's fine. We could have done that as well. And we could have gone around the other side there because this is where the stuff is. So it might have actually been better to do that. But uh, And I guess we could actually just pick that up. If we decide that we've made a mistake, we can simply just demolish these. That's okay. Pick up the road and we can Alt-Tab to remove that road. It works absolutely fine to be able to do that as well. Um, so let's just actually move these onto this side. So in terms of hunting, we're going to put the hunting just down here. That's perfect. And then we can connect this up. It's going to make a lot more sense to have that here. And then we're going to go for the berries. Now the berries are over the back here. Now this one says it's too steep to be able to place here. So we're actually going to have to place this maybe at a bit of a different angle here. Right, we'll place this one just there. And then coming around the edge of this, we don't actually want to encroach upon the land. And then we'll just connect that up there. Alright, so now that's, part, that's connected as well. So we've got the foraging up here. And we've got this here. So we can also do the tannery, which we'll do later. That'll give us our clothes. Um, but for now, we've got our storehouse. That's great. That works. We've got our uh, granary there. That works. Uh, we can, because there's a bit of food in there, we'll just put a person in there, take them out of the storehouse for now. That's also good. That works. That stall is there, so that's fine. That person's there. We're going to build this land out. And we've got some timber. So that means that we can go from construction residential and we can build out some more plots so we'll put another three plots down here going all the way back as far as we can perfect now we didn't actually connect this road up which is why that won't fully connect so we'll just uh, finish that road off and now if we come back we'll be able to do this go all the way back into that corner and that looks a lot better excellent so we'll build that as well so that's going to be our six houses good starting point for us and now as we start to build out some more timber, and we do need some more timber to be able to do this, we need six so we can build out these houses. So again, we're going to just speed this up a little bit. That's five timber, eight timber now, that's enough. So now we can get our burgage plots here, all the way along the front, all the way back, and all the way out to here. Now, this says 10, but if we make this smaller, there we go. So this is going to be three doubles. Remember we did that before. So we'll do that, and then we'll be able to do the others on the other side, and then that's going to be all of the land. Now, we don't need to do this at the moment, but we can just leave that as it is for now. Uh, we can even pause these, so halts all construction work on these, because we just don't quite need them right now. So we'll just get these six to start with. And that's it, they're working. Uh, still a few supplies there, we've got our hitching post out, that's great. Logging camp is working well. That's under construction. That's being built great. So now we're going to zoom out and come back to the other place here. All right. So let's see what's going on here then. And we don't want to force an early harvest. So we're going to leave that uh, to do its job. Can put someone else in the farmhouse because in uh, we're in May at the moment. So in June, crops grow. So we're going to leave that for now. The crops will finish growing next month. 
This is good. We've got all of this here. Just having a look at the uh, land. We can see what's going on. Looking very good. Work area is empty, so... Let's go to advanced, and we're going to clear the work area so they can go wherever they need to. The mining pit is working. That's fine. So let's just, whilst we're here... Uh, let's just have a look at this clay deposit. Still some there. Animals are still there as well. Stonecutter camp is coming down a little bit now. Nice. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and speed up time. Not really much else we need to do at the moment. New England, construction finished, so that's fine. We know about that. Alright, we've got some money. Not that we need it at the moment. This looks like it's ready to upgrade, so we'll upgrade this one. So anytime a property is now ready to upgrade, we'll be able to do that. This one needs two sets of food, so we're just waiting for the additional food to come in now. Great. And also just looking up here, so we've got some timber. We could do with a little bit more timber at the moment. We, uh, we don't have anyone in the logging camp here. We do have one up here. So I guess right now we can remove that person from the logging camp, which is up here. In fact, we can even uh, demolish that logging camp. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we can actually just put the people into this logging camp instead. So New England is running out of food, so we better head over here and have a look, see what's happening. All right, the problem we're going to have here... Well, one is I can't find this. So that's under construction. That's still under construction as well. All right. So we can bring some more food in, but there's not really much else we can do there at the moment. Uh, the storehouse is good. Granary is good. Got someone in there, so that's fine. All right, so we're into June. All right, those plots have been built now. So we've got our six plots, which means we can actually remove the worker camp if we need to. Hunter camp has now been built, so uh, let's go ahead and put somebody in there. So they're going to get some food, which is good. Also now for the logging, we can actually take out a couple of those people. We don't need them all. Just make that a little bit quicker. Yeah, not enough supplies. That's simply because we need food. We know that, so that's fine. We're going to get that sorted now. Especially with the berries. Now, because this is a uh, rich resource, we're going to put two hunters in here. Because we've got them at the moment. That'll get us some meat. Alright, and that's the, uh, the forager hut has now been finished. So we'll find out wherever that forager hut is. It's quite actually... There it is. And we're going to put someone in there. Great, so they'll be able to get their berries. So that's all the berries that we need. Uh, in terms of the granary, we've got somebody in there that can actually go out and get food and bring it to here as well. So that's awesome. All right, so the next thing that we need to build is we need to build the woodcutter's lodge. Very important that we're able to do that. So we want to be able to produce all of this fire. So let's go ahead and we'll put that down. And we're just going to set a road just over here right now so that can be built excellent and now we've got pretty much everything that we need uh the only other building we need is a tannery here oh no not that one sorry we need a, a tannery which is under industry tannery all right and we can just put that right down there for now excellent and then when we get a chance we'll just un pause that so we can get the development going. We've got a new point here that we can use. So now we need to think about what are we doing here? Well, we want to do trade logistics, right? We want to be setting up those trade routes like we did before. Um, but we can do that from the other place. We don't need to do that here. Like making the money, we can make the money in the other place. We don't necessarily need to do that here. So what we can do at the moment is we can do trapping first. Trapping is something that's going to allow us to get some extra money, which is going to be really key for us. Now, the, uh, the regional wealth is regional, so we still need to be able to make money in this area. 
but we can definitely bring stuff across if we need to from the other place. Okay, so what we're going to do now is hunting camps going well. We've got additional places that are going to be built. So we can unpause these. And we can do the same thing on this side. So construction, residential. We'll go from left to right. All the way from the back across. Make that smaller so it's three plots again. There we go. We've got our six plots. And this again will give us some more food. Especially when we start to use our regional wealth to be able to create our hides and our food and stuff like that. Okay, good so far. Now we need uh, two plots level two or higher, which means obviously we're going to need the church and other things like that as well. But the main thing here is not really to worry about growing this. We're not focused on growing this too much. What we're interested in is claiming this land, which we have. So we can focus on building our army up here and then using it to fend the other place. Uh, speaking of which, we're getting ready for our, our next run. Just having a look around to see if there's any bandit camps. Not at the moment, which is good to know. Um, but we could actually pick up another piece of land if we wanted to. And just looking at which one we'd actually get next, we've got a rich deposit in iron. We've got the berries and the things, so we'll probably go for clay next. Um, so this one actually has a clay and an iron. And the only one we're missing is stone. So this one has... Um, stone this one doesn't this one has a clay and an animal so we'll probably go for this middle one here which gives us clay and iron so we've got two iron one of each resource but then we're going to be missing stone so it could actually be beneficial for us um, because we're going to want clay and iron and we want stone to have these four plots of lands in the corner here and then they can have these four so we've got four each so we've got these four they'll have those four and then we're all connected in the corner here they can be on the outskirts and we can fight evenly. So eight plots in total. That's how I think we're going to play this. So that depends, obviously, unless they decide to take the claimed land themselves. All right, so we've got seven months of food here in this place. At the moment, being that we are in June, crops are growing. They're pretty much growing at 90% at the moment, which is great. All right, so what do we need? Well, we need the tavern. We still haven't fixed our tavern, which is here. But at the moment, we need this barley. And the barley is what we're waiting for. Now, we could import some ale. And we do have some money to do that. And that would allow us to upgrade to level 3. But we would also need also need uh, some more clothing. So clothing is what we need. Now, we can have shoes, clothes, or cloaks. Shoes, clothes, or cloaks. But we're going to need this burgage plot to be able to do that. So this allows us to make shoes... This allows us to make cloaks, uh, clothes, cloaks, and, and gambesons. Okay, so the tailor's workshop. Now, if we have a look at the construction on what we can build here, we want a tailor's workshop, all right? And that's not something that we can get. So if we look at everything that's available to us, tailor's workshop is not one of those things. Now, we can have a look at farming. That does give us few things but again nothing that we need nothing in administration at the moment nothing in trade nothing in residential at the moment nothing in logistics at the moment so here we go a pack station this is what we want I use this building to set up a barter connection allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command employ mules to transport up to 20 goods per trip all right so this is the next thing we want is a pack station and that pack station, we actually want to set it up on the main road. And we're going to set it up actually just not too far here from our hitching post. There it is. Now, in order for this to work, we actually need to go all the way over here and do the exact same thing. So over here, we're going to go to construction. And we need to build a pack station here as well. So we'll do that. And we're actually going to build that. Just here like so. Perfect. All right, everything looks good here so far. I think we can get rid of those worker camps now. We're just going to wait for these to um, upgrade, though. Good. 
Uh, there probably is a key to go to your... Oh, deposited exhaust mining pit. Okay, so that, that mining pit is now gone. So we'll take the people out of that now. We'll just wait for this to uh, to empty. And we can do that with the large storage by just uh, employing a couple of extra people to go and pick up all of the stuff from here. All right, so over in London, this one here, firewood stall. So we've got another stall that's been built. No storage space left for the hunting camp. Okay. So we need to move everything from there. So they're starting to pick stuff up from here now. There we go. And they're going to take it back, which is good. So that will take a little bit of time and they'll do the same there. So we'll let them do their job. 35 in there. And there's currently 60 in here, which is great. New mercenary companies available. All right, new families started to move in, so that's good news. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead for a tailor's workshop. We're going to upgrade this one. And for this one, we can't quite do it yet. We want to upgrade it, but we need some fuel. Um, just we're kind of stuck on the outskirts here for some reason this house just does not want to be part of this I don't know why uh, in New England we need to move over here because something's full it mentioned something's full so in the storehouse we're going to want to uh, not in the storehouse so in the granary we're going to want got one person in there uh, we'll put one person in the storehouse for now that should send them out hunting camp has two people in it which is fine we'll just take one out for now because we are uh, Where is the uh, the berry there? All right. Generic storage in the hunting camp is full, but that's okay because we just put people in there to do, deal with that. So that's fine. We've got the well. The logging camp is still working. That's good. So we've got our timber. We do need to uh, start upgrading at some point here. So that's something we're going to have to do next. Uh, but we want to get these houses upgraded as well. That's another thing we want to do. So tailor shop is now finished. Back over we go. And there's a lot of back and forth now. You're going to start getting used to this as you do it. This tailor shop though, we can uh, click on the general now. And we can choose what it is that we want to produce. So we can make cloaks or we can make clothes. So clothes, gamisons or cloaks. But we're going to focus on clothes. Uh, it tells you what it needs. It needs one linen and one dye. This needs two linen. This needs one yarn and one dye. Now, we don't have uh, any linen at the moment. We don't have any dye. So we need to be able to make dye. So in order to do that, we need to go for construction. From the construction, we need to have a look at the options in the industry. So we need to make this, which converts berries into dye. This is a dyer's workshop. We can go ahead and build that. We can put that right on the edge outside here. Uh, also, we need to make linen. So if we have flax, we can produce linen in a weaver's workshop. So we can use wool to make yarn, flax to make linen. Alright, so that's the next thing we're going to need. So we'll put this building down as well, because we're going to want that. So again, a couple of extra buildings that we're going to need there. Uh, we're missing a person at the moment, so we'll just uh, take one out of there for now. Hopefully that works and it's okay. Huh. It's telling me... Oh, because we took a family out. Of course we did. Yes, we took a family out. We need we need some more people. Hmm. Oh. They're not there, so I don't know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One second. Alright, these have all been upgraded. Uh, these ones can actually be upgraded to level 2, so we can go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, just checking at the moment. Oh, I thought that one could be done then. It's not, not quite ready. These ones are though. So these ones can be upgraded to level 2. Cool. The rest of them can't just yet. So actually we're losing six families there. Need to remember that we're losing six families there. So I guess what I should have done... Is that, and I could have lost four families, so I could have done the other side and not upgraded these. Okay, that makes sense. 
because these are doubles. So I kind of wanted these to be... Um... No, I guess this is right. It's fine. Just means that we lose them. They can't then go and do other work. So that's one of the challenges we're going to have. So, all right, let's, um, let's build some more land, shall we? Some more plots. So in order to do this, we can go construction, residential. Uh, and I guess at the moment... Yeah, we kind of want to go from here. That's not actually going to build that many of them, is it? Yeah, so we only want to go back a little way. Don't need to go back too far. Just a little garden is fine. So that's another 10 families that we can put in there then. So we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or if we go down to here, we can do 5 with another 5, which would be 10. So I think that's fine. That looks like enough for me. I kind of want to go just one square less here. Um, only because, in fact, let me put the road in first. So if I put this road in here, that feels better. All right, now we can go construct. We can go right from that corner to this corner. And again, we don't really need to go that big. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than that, but not too big. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. But we do need, uh, we do need some more timber, and we're struggling for timber at the moment. So let's have a quick look at where we are. All right, so we've got timber there. Hmm. Maybe that timber's all accounted for. Oh, yes, because I've just upgraded all of these buildings. That's right. So we need to get some more timber in. All of this timber is in here, but it's all accounted for. So it's going to get used to upgrade these buildings. Which means we actually only have two timber left. Even though there's 32 in here. Which is cool. Right, so we're just going to wait for that. And we'll go to construction. We'll just map it all out because we're almost there. Uh, I think it was about there we want it. Yep. Perfect. Alright, so just need four more timber. And then we'll be able to put these five plots down. Here we go, up to seven now. Nine. Almost there. One more, and we can launch this, and then that's going to help us. Into August now as well. Still waiting for that timber. We're on nine timber at the moment. There we go, ten timber. Right, brilliant. We can get that built. All right, and then we can put a road over the back here. So that can kind of run up to here. Lovely. So there we've got some extra land if we needed it. Perfect. Oh, we'll see how that looks with the marketplace, but it should be okay. So right now we can see fuel is at 58%. That's fine if we look at how much fuel we've got. 244 firewood, we're fine. Clothing is okay at the moment. We've got enough leather. Uh, and food variety. We have some decent food variety, so we're okay there at the moment. So, all right, everything there, so far, so good. If we look at the plots of land, uh, they're pretty much all covered. We do need the tavern, three lots of food now, which is great, and we're working on the second item of clothing as we speak. Um, but we obviously need these additional buildings for that. Uh, the mining pit is now empty, so that can be destroyed. We don't need that anymore. Also, the stonecutter's pit, we can destroy that. We don't need that anymore, which means we can also delete this road. We don't need that anymore. Excellent. The clay furnace is still working. We can just leave that there for now. And But what we do have to ask ourselves is we've got some clay. Uh, we've got ourselves some roof tiles. We probably don't want any more at the moment, so we're just going to put that on hold for now. We'll just leave that there. All right, storage is good. Uh, we've got these people here, the field barley, so 
Into September we're going to start harvesting, so next month we'll harvest, so we're going to put another person in there just to help with that. Alright. And it says here that two people are unhappy. Let's have a look at why they're unhappy. They haven't got enough fuel. Okay. So we need to make sure that there's enough fuel coming through. Which I don't think there is, so we probably need to assign another family to this. So we'll take one family out of the farmhouse. And we're just going to put them in the woodcutter's lodge for now. Excellent. Now what we need to do here... Forager's huts there, saw pits there, that's all good. Uh, we need to construct ourselves a, a forester's hut. So what this is going to do is it's going to re-forest the area. So we'll put one there. We'll actually put one there as well, so we're going to have two of them. Uh, but this one will be the, the priority to get this one down first. Alright. This work area is empty. There is no point in using that anymore because that's finished. The animals as well, so there's no point using the hunting camp anymore. Although there is still some food in there. So we'll leave that for now. The granary will have quite a bit of food in there, so that's all good. Alright, so now we just need to focus on. Uh, we still need a little bit more timber. Definitely don't feel like we've got enough timber at the moment. No bandit camps out there. Uh, nope, but we can come across to New England and we'll just see how we're doing here. Alright, so we have the worker camp which we can now destroy. We don't need this anymore. Eight families and we have a living space for 12, so we're in a good place here. But we do need some fuel. So uh, we have our logging camp, but one of the things we haven't built yet... We're going to build that right now. Is I don't believe. Oh no, we do have a woodcutter's lodge. We just don't have anyone. Up. We don't have anyone in there. Uh, also, oh, we don't have anyone in a tannery. So we'll take one person out of there, put them in there. So now we've got clothes, we've got berries, we've got everything we need. So now we're going to have food and fuel. Yep, that's fine because we're going to have that fuel now. That's okay. And that's pretty much everything we're going to need here. So we've got food variety is great. We've got lots of berries and lots of meat. Uh, fuel, we've got some, but we're going to have some more coming in, so that's okay. And then clothing, we've just started doing that. So that's everything we need here. Uh, we are going to need a church. Uh, so we should definitely build a church next. In order to build a church, we're going to need to import some goods. So let's just have a look at what we need. Because we don't need to set everything up, we just need to import it. So in order to build a church, we need 20 planks. Okay, so that's what we need to do now. So, pack station. Barter with London. Receive. Planks. Alright, we're going to send them, because we need to send them as well. Um, I guess we'll send them some meat. Um... Alright, one for one, so that's fine. So, it doesn't tell me how many we need. Oh, it says we can send up to 20 items, right? So, we'll send some meat back and we'll get some planks, because meat's something we're going to need. So, we can do excess in here in terms of food and berries, because we actually have loads of them. Uh, we don't have the livestock to be able to do that at the moment. But we're going to assign a family here. And we need to get some livestock. So that's the next thing that's going to be on our list. We need to buy some livestock. So order a new horse. So there we go. We can get a new horse. We can get an ox, but we can also get a horse. So we're going to do that right now. So there's our horse. Livestock order placed. And then we can uh, permanently add the horse once it arrives. We'll just speed this up till the horse arrives. There we go. And we should be able to assign that horse. It is, it is here. All right, so inside the grain we've got 30 meat. That's fine. 40 berries. That's great. Ah, is that here now? 
Oh, dits, there we go. So we've got our livestock. So we're going to assign our permanent livestock assignment. Uh, I don't know why, but there's one there anyway, so that's fine. So dits is there. All right. So we zoom out, come across to this side. They'll do their job there. That'll send it across here. And then we'll have some meat, which is something where we've only got 12 meat. We're running out. We've got some berries. We're running out of meat. So that's fine. So all of the meat can now be imported from the other region into here. So we don't have to worry about meat here now. Uh, and then we just got to think about what we're going to do. So just finish off August to start with. We're over 50%, so that's good. Just these two here. Which says they need fuel and food. So I don't know why these two aren't getting food or fuel. They should be. Oh, maybe we just need to have another. There we go. And that's just fuel now. So in order for fuel to work. We do have two. I kind of wonder if we need to get some more. Maybe we need to put a second one down, but we'll see how this works for now. So, um, over on the clay furnace. Yep, that's pretty good. We've emptied that out for now. All right, these guys are doing all of the crops, which is great. So, into September, into the first month, and we've got all of this yield, which is amazing. So, look at the barley that you can see there. Brilliant. So this is days left to harvest. So we want to do a crop rotation in this field now. So the second year we want to go for wheat. And then we want to go for flax. We want to rotate these out. So at the moment what's happening, we've got the harvest in progress. And we'll let that do its job. We'll come out. And now we have another... We'll see these ones are coming down to fight. These are old brigands local fugs. Okay, so these are local fugs, so that's fine. There's 18 of these guys. Alright, so we're going to have to fight these guys. There's 18 of them, but this is their camp. There's also these guys here. So, alright, there's two sets of them, look. There's 18 there and probably, probably another 18 there. So we're going to have to have two fights. So, alright, let's do this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our army. Now, we don't have enough in terms of uh, weaponry at the moment. So one of the things that we can do in a blacksmith is we can go to general. And we can actually change this uh, to be pole arms. So if we have this in pole arms, we can actually create a, a pole arm militar. And we can also, if we had a bow, we can do this as well. So we need um, shields and spears to make shields and spears. Uh, Militar Footman, I believe, just needs a sidearm. Or this one, which is an iron slab and a plank, which is what we're going to focus on now. Alright. So now we're going to focus on this. And then we'll be able to create an extra army from this. So, at the moment, we can't do anything else. Now, we could import this if we wanted to. Uh, we can come across to our trading post and we can look at what we want to trade here. So coming to crafting materials, looking at the export that we have. Now we can actually turn the export off. We don't need to export this anymore. And now we was exporting tools, but again we can turn this off at the moment as well. We don't need to do this right now. Uh, we can have a look at what we want to import or export. Could be worth setting up a trade route to bring in some uh, war bonds, war bows. Uh, they're five each. And with these, we'll be able to set up some bows and arrows. But these have uh, apparently been nerfed quite a lot at the moment. So uh, we don't want these just yet. We can do that later. Again, we can set that up from London here. I believe we can do this already, though. So I just need, when I, uh, when I set up, 
Now, once they're set up, you cannot change them. Yeah, so that would require a war bow, which is here. So I don't want to do that at the moment. So blacksmith's fine, and a tailor shop is fine. Uh, this one is, again, it's going to make for us some clothing, but all we needed to do to be able to do this is we need linen and dyes. We don't have either of those at the moment. That will make clothes. So we've got our dye shop. Still being built. Um, but that's all good, so we can do that. We can also do this in another place if we want. We could go to uh, New England, and we could make use of a lot of berries there. So we could use those berries, because there's so many of them, to make dyes. And then we can send that back and barter it here. So again, lots of trade routes and things that we can set up. Uh, and I'm sure in the future there's going to be really good dashboards to allow you to, to build out and do this. Um, but for now, that's kind of where we are. All right, so we've got our army. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to rally our armies. So we've got our two armies here, so we'll bring them down here. There we go, so we'll take both of them and we'll rally them right at this bottom point here. Alright, 18 out of 18 and we've got 5 out of 5. Now look, these guys are fighting over here already, so these guys are coming in to fight. What we want to do is get down to this camp before they do. Now they're fighting at the moment. Look, they've got their arrows coming in, so they're already getting stronger. Look, they've got 36 uh, heavy mercenary archers. We can get an idea of their team, uh, their, their guys right now. So their archers are fighting. They've been broken. So this land is now being claimed. So they're claiming this land right now. Now, we might not want to fight this. But we do want to go and get that bandit camp. Let's see if we can do that, shall we? Let's bring these down here to take that bandit camp. Uh, and let's do it quite quickly. See if this works. Now, we don't want to fight these guys. We just want to get this bandit camp and we want to get out before the land's claimed. In fact, is this the land that's being claimed? It might not even be right. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. So, we're going to go in here. There's not even a fight. We can just take it. Uh, and we can decide where we're going to send this to. We're going to send it to our nearest town. Perfect. So, regional wealth gained. Excellent. So, we'll take these guys back out. Bring them back to our land. It also means that we're going to lose this area that we wanted. Now, we could contest this if we wanted to. But then we're going to have to have a fight. And we're really not ready for that big fight yet. So, again, if we wanted to contest it, we could. Then it's going to be a big fight in order to do that. We've got New England, we've got this one, so I guess what we'll do instead, because this was the stone that we wanted, we could take this top one, it's still got stone, and we can take this one here. So again, what we need to do is we need to get that influence up, um, which means we need these bandit camps, which we're kind of lacking at the moment. So as soon as a bandit camp comes up, we're going to take it. Otherwise, for now, uh, we're just going to leave it and we're going to focus on... Just focus on uh, acquiring the rest of the land that we can. So we've got two. We need a third one. Again, we don't need to do anything crazy. We just need to set up a just a very, very basic self-sustaining, which we've got here in New England. If we go and have a look at this. Again, this is, this is self-sustaining now. I don't actually need to do anything to this. It doesn't need to grow. It doesn't need to do anything at all. All this needs to do is the marketplace needs to have enough clothing, food, and fuel, which it all does. That's all it needs. I don't need to do anything else at this stage. Now, I do need to bring a church in. Uh, and in order to do this, I am going to need those roof tiles. Um, and I've got some planks as well. So, yeah, that's going to come from the plank. Uh, from the. Um... Oh, in fact, it's not the planks that I want, is it? It's the roof tiles that I want, sorry. Where are those roof tiles? There they are. Wow, you don't really get many for that. It's not even a one-for-one one trade. So, all right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to leave that just for now. We'll sort it out later. What we're actually going to do is, because we only need to build a church which needs 20 planks. Oh, that was right. Sorry, we don't need roof tiles. That was to upgrade it. We just need 20 planks. So, all we're going to do here is, rather than bartering it, we're just going to build the uh, sawmill, saw pit. There you go. Nice and easy to do. We'll just build that and then job done. 
All right, in terms of the back garden here, we've got 20 regional wealth left. Uh, that is 15 to be able to build some carrots. Uh, which we could do. But I'm hoping that the uh, the place, even though we took that bandit camp, I was hoping New England would have been the place that was closest to send it to. Maybe we can send some money across later. We'll have a look into that. For now, though, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to carrots. So it's a vegetable garden, sorry. And then we're going to expand this living space. Uh, looking at how much timber we've got, we've got more than enough timber now to be able to expand all of these. Uh, which is going to expand all of our housing. Beautiful. And that's more than enough for us right now to just uh, keep everything going that we need here. So this can kind of be an army that we can build up. Again, we can send stuff between the lands. And that's it. That's kind of where we are. So if you get to this stage of the game, you're pretty much in a position where you can kind of do whatever you need. So if we do want the army, and let's say we want to create new units, we can hire mercenaries. So for the treasury cost, we can bring in some brigands for hire, vultures, or some battle brothers. So depending on where we want them, Um, maces and axe. Hmm. These are 110 though. If we want them, we can hire them. We've got light mercenary. These are brigands and these are light mercenary spearmen and light mercenary infantry. These are 50, so... We could hire this company. Treasury cost paid up front for each month of service. Just bear that in mind. Okay. That's pretty much all we need to do at the moment. For the purpose of this video, we're we're pretty much done. Uh, we've, we've done everything that we need to do. We've got our lands. We've expanded our lands. We've set up trade routes between them. Uh, we're going to... Again, we don't really have much here, so we're just going to move these out so that we can disband them. Because we're in October now, this field, uh, we're swapping this over for wheat, which is fine. And that also means now that we do have, as you can see, 151 barley. So now we've got the barley, one of the things that we can do is if we go to our construction, come across to farming... Uh, nope, sorry, it's not. It's in industry. The malt house. So now we can create a malt house, which I think we were going to do before, but I don't believe we actually made one. Alright, so in the storehouse, that's where the barley is at the moment. Yeah, we didn't make one, so let's do that now. So we're going to make a malt house, and we're going to put that right here. And what that's going to do is that is going to allow us then to be able to turn all of the barley that we've got um, into malt. And then later we can turn that malt, and this is where we'll need to go to the next stage, uh, that malt. Uh, and we can do that from, we've got a tailor and a blacksmith, so here. Uh, brewery extension so we can take the malt and create a brewery extension but we can't do that here unfortunately because we can't upgrade this because we're still struggling with this oh there we go upgrade to level two finally it allows us to excellent so now we can turn this once it's upgraded into a malt house so now we're making tools clothes and we're making some malt anything else we want to do we need to uh, take on another one. So we can actually take out a goat. We could upgrade this if we wanted to instead. So if we wanted to do this, uh, we could actually move one of these. It's only the tier one that you can remove and change over. So just something to bear in mind as we uh, as we start to expand here. But remember, if we do this, it will take that family out. So we'll no longer have them. All right, just speed this up a bit, get through October. And almost through the autumn. We have one family here that's unhappy. And that's these guys who are never happy to be fair. 
Uh, so we'll just finish this. And really starting to kind of grow now and get a lot of stuff. Now we want to focus on our military capability. So we've got 600 wealth now. We're great. Uh, we've got enough treasury. We want to keep focusing on our influence. Uh, the best way to do our influence, there's two ways we can do it. The first way is going to be uh, just fighting. Um, but the second way that we can do it, if we want to, is we can actually go to our manor house. Uh, we can go to our taxes. And we can... Um, percentage of surplus food is going to be given to the church. So 10% of our surplus food will be given to the church. And that is going to give us influence. So we want to produce as much food as we can. All right. Malt house is under construction. Uh, how are we doing for food? We've got 62 berries. Not very many vegetables at the moment, but we've got lots of berries. Good to know. Uh, lots of stone here, some planks and some timber, some roof tiles. Not too much. We have a few bits there. Lots of firewood, which is fine. Some barley, which is good. And here we've got some iron and some clay. So that iron mining pit still working really well. Uh, we'll drop that down just one. We don't need that many. Uh, this wheat field, we're actually going to add another person into here. All right. They can finish that because we're actually into November at the moment. Which is the last chance we've got to do this harvesting. And I don't know if they're going to get this finished or not. I don't think they are, you know, because at the moment... Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of falling behind. Alright, well. Might have to wait for a year on that one. So the malt house is now finished, so that's good. Uh, we'll take a couple out of the logging camps because we don't need them all. Put an extra one in the farmhouse. In fact, we'll put an extra two in the farmhouse at the moment because we're in November. We kind of really want to get these families out here and working. Want to get as much of this done as we can. Almost finished the field. There's a lot of field to do. Okay. So the progress for plowing is now done. Now we're sowing. 50% progress of sowing. Which is all we need to do. We need to just finish this. So they're going really quick. Which is good. In November. Alright. Looks like we've done it. And it's going to start to grow. Um... But not really. Like, growing is where we are now. Right, we've got done. We're in November. We got that finished. That's great. Now it just needs to grow. Alright, so I'm glad we put the extra workers in there. So we'll take them out now. Because we don't need them. Uh, this is going to be our brewery extension. So we're going to do this. Which means we're going to lose those families. Uh, and here we're going to go to the malt house. And we're going to just chuck two people right now into the malt house. Large storage has two people in it. Uh, the granary has two people in it, so that's fine. Tannery has one. Do we have any hides? We have 15 hides, so that's okay. The weaver's workshop. Oh, we don't actually have anything to, to do in there at the moment, but what we do want is the dye. Dyer's workshop. So we'll put one in there just to take some of those berries. Uh, that would be a good thing to do. All right, we're going to zoom out and see if we can see any bandit camps. No, we cannot. They will not form. Bandit camps will not form on uh, owned land. So we've only got three plots that they can come onto. And again, they've got three plots now as well. So we need to really get this one. This is the one we want to connect this whole space together. Uh, so we actually want this one. So we're going to try and get this as quickly as we can now. And it's a bit of a competition. Uh, the food, the clothing, and everything is okay. Could be better. Definitely could be better, but it's not bad. So again, this view doesn't show physical locations of goods, but instead shows their availability. Burgage plots nearest to the market have the best ability of goods, and therefore can be upgraded faster. It creates a cascading effect, and houses on the outskirts will always have a worse time upgrading, as we've seen. Okay. We are running out of food for Christmas, actually. Um, we're in December right now. We need some more food. We could, uh, if we have the hunting camp, uh, we could actually put another person into the hunting camp. 
Farmhouse is fine. Logging camp is fine. Woodcutters is fine. I believe the fuel is at 100% now. How much extra fuel do we have? We've got quite a lot. So we will remove one person from there. The forester's hut will put one in. Because we need to start getting these trees out. Clay furnace is empty. There is some wild animals there though. So we do really want to... Take out the Dyer's Workshop, I think, and we're going to add... We've got two in a hunting camp. That's fine. No berries. All right, but now we've got some ale. So the tavern, we can put one person in a tavern now. London is definitely run out of food. And that is going to fix the tavern problem. So now we're going to have ale that is supplied. Problem we're going to have is they're going to consume that... But we're not going to be able to upgrade them. We need a constant supply of this. So again, we need to... Not only do we now have these supply chains, but we need to manage them effectively. We need to make sure that every season we have enough people. Uh, and those people are working. And those, um, those fields and everything that we have are turning over. So we need to micromanage every single aspect of the supply chain now. To ensure that we don't run out of anything. And we want to be as hands-off as possible. So looking here, we can see that we're we're not quite 100% on the fuel. We're not far off, but we're not quite 100% on the fuel, which means we definitely need um, a little bit more on the fuel side of things. Um, in terms of the food, we've got some variety. We've definitely got some eggs and we've got some berries. So we will be all right to get through a month. But look, we've only got enough for one month, so we need more. We need more food. And this is the problem now as we start to grow. We will get a bit of meat because we are hunting some animals, but we need to get through to get these berries. And this is where we can import from other places and do stuff like this. And this is where we just need to micromanage things now. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it's been helpful. You've definitely seen a way of uh, how we can fight. Obviously, I don't want to spoil any more of the game, so you're going to go and play this on your own accord now. But setting up those trade routes, micromanaging your economy, making sure everything works, making sure that different areas are focusing on different things making sure it's all harmonious and working together, building up an army and then going and attacking the enemy. That's kind of the the concept of Manor Lords right now is to be the Lord and, and own all of these regions. So that's the game. Enjoy it. I hope that this beginner's guide has been useful for you. I appreciate the three hours and just over that you've spent with me. Uh, and hopefully this has given you a really good insight into this game. Again, in early access, I do believe this has great, great potential to be an incredible, incredible game uh, for years to come with downloadable content uh, definitely with pvp uh, with new scenarios and things that you can play uh, i'm also going to just take this and uh, disband the unit because i realized that i'm losing half the people that i should have on my uh, my plot here but yeah we can also uh, we can keep upgrading things as well so at the moment um, the, the church is upgraded as much as it can be we can order a new horse if we need to We've got our trading post. Uh, the tavern is pretty much done. There's nothing else we need to do here. We've got the ale that's coming in at the moment. We can see that. If I look at these plots. There we go. So the tavern is supplied now. It's all good here. And we can even tax people a little bit more if we need to. So now we just need some clothes. So we can actually import some clothes. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to click on our trading post. We're going to go to trade. Uh... We're going to go to commodities, and it's actually clothes that we want. They're going to cost us six. Now, we need to set up a route for this. So we can set up a trade route. It's going to cost us 25, but we can go ahead and do that. And we can import clothes. And we can say we want 10 clothes. So that's going to import that. So uh, Generic stock is filled. That's the saw pit. Not enough supplies. We know about that. That's fine. And we have these uh, three plots of land that are unhappy at the moment. Uh, and if we look at them, it is these two here. So this one on the end here. So it's food, which is completely understandable because we've run out. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely need to sort that out. We're not getting enough. We're not getting enough food out of our vegetable gardens here at the moment, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So just look in here at what these need. Hmm. So they're doing different jobs. They're working somewhere else at the moment. I 
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, that's pretty much it for Mana Lords. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments how you're getting on. Obviously, you've got different scenarios. There's different things you can go through. Um, but overall, that's pretty much everything we've covered here. We've gone through everything there is in construction. Uh, so we've talked about the logging camp, the woodcutters. We know about the saw pit, the forester's hut, the charcoal kiln we'd need to unlock on the um, development points. Uh, the hunting camp, we know the forager hut, the apiary for the beekeeping. Again, we have to unlock that. Going across here, we've got a simple stone mine and a mining pit, which we've used. Logistics, we know about the hitching post. We've set up the pack station, storehouse and a granary, which we've upgraded. Residential, we've done the well. We've done the burgage plots. Uh, the marketplace we've set up, and also you can unlock these for firewood and food cart. Tavern, we've done wooden church. We haven't had anyone die, so we haven't needed a corp pits or a grave digger yet. Uh, in terms of this, we've got a field, a farmhouse. We haven't set up pastures. I'm going to leave that for you. Um, but also you can set up a sheep farm, a windmill, and a communal oven if you want to be able to. And we'll do this later. So this will be the way that we would turn our grain into flour and then our flour into bread to give us some more food. Uh, also, we've got our iron slabs, uh, our tools that we can make. Uh, we also have clay tiles. We have our malt uh, through the malt house tannery we have the weavers workshop okay which we can use when we've got our flax to make linen uh, our berries into dyes which we've done trading we know about trading posts and also about livestock trading posts administration about the mana building and then just some cosmetics we can make a shrine or we can erase some shrubbery so pretty much everything they're covered the only other things that we haven't been through that we need to do we are going into march now so we're heading into year three now which means the berry deposit is picking up, so we'll be able to stick some foragers out there. Very much needed at the moment. Uh, we'll kind of leave one in there for now, and yeah, that storage is fine. We're getting quite a bit of stuff in the storage right now, which is nice. Tavern is working. Logging camp has one in it, that's fine. One in there. Farmhouse has one in it. Mining pit has one in it, and I think... I think that's pretty much it, right? We've got the Weaver's Workshop. No one in there. Tannery. Uh, we do need to keep the tannery going at the moment. Dyer's Workshop. No one's in there. Ah, oh, two in the hunting camp. We'll take one out of there. And we'll put another one in the forager's hut for now. Perfect. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing we haven't covered here is the treasury. Again, personal money you collect from taxes. It can be used for diplomacy and hiring uh, if we need to do stuff like that. Uh, we've got our policies that we've talked about. Uh, we haven't signed any policies at the moment. We don't need to. Uh, the development we talked about. Nothing else we need to do there. Influence. We've talked about that, which is replied for diplomacy and pressing claims. Can be gained from the church. Conquering um, brigands and upgrading churches and manors. So we've upgraded our church. Uh, our manor. We could upgrade our manor. That is something we haven't done. That would also give us some more. Uh, so we can go ahead and do that if we open up the castle planner. And here we can build a garrison tower uh, and an outer tower. So there is a cost to being able to do this. So we can go ahead and build this here. And uh, we can then build another one here. And we might want to go and build a garrison tower just here. We're going to rotate it around. Because if we look at the map, uh, this is going to be kind of facing. Yeah, we'll just do it facing that way. That's fine. So that's going to be the edge there. All right, so we can only have one of those. And then what we want to do is a wall and a gate. So we can go from here. Uh, we can kind of go into the middle here. Kind of go into the middle there. And we can kind of go into there. So as you can see, oh, that's going to cost us more timber than we've currently got available. So we can't commit. Uh, in order to do this, we'd actually need to remove. So we press Alt and remove one of these. It's going to take a little bit less now. So we can actually do this instead. So, all right, that's what we can build. We can commit to this. Uh, we could probably get the, the walls and gates out as well. I think we've got enough to do this as a starting point. So from here, into here, into here. 
All right, let's go ahead and commit this. All right, so now that's all going to be built. Manor is under construction. Again, we can build a whole wall around this. Um, but that's going to take some time. And then that, again, will give us a little bit more influence. King's favor can be used for diplomatic purposes, including pressing and refuting claims. An annual royal tax, there is no tax to be paid. So if we get to a certain size, as we start to get bigger, and that's really the next goal here. So we need to get level three or higher burgage plots. We only need three of them. So in order to do that, all we're going to need to do is sort out the tavern. If we sort out this tavern supply, we're actually good to go. In fact, this one here, the tailor's shop, we could upgrade it to level three. So it's possible to do that. Um, it will generate uh, two regional wealth per family per month. Require the rise of settlement level. Uh, adds living space for one extra family and two, family for, and two families for plots with living expansions. We want to put that here. All right, so that's going to give us some extra space. All right, let's have a look at where else we can upgrade. So this is the next one, but we can't quite do it just yet. Uh, how many did we need? We needed three. Three to be upgraded. So we can do this one here if we want to. Uh, we can also do these two down here. Um, so these are going to have actual workforces. Uh, that's fine because they're not uh, tailored. So we can upgrade this one to level three. And we can do this one to level three as well. Oh, no, we can't because we're missing four. <laughs> we're missing four bits of wood. So let's just uh, get some more timber. So just need four bits of timber and we get some more families in here as well. We're almost there. Just two more bits of timber we need. We'll get them at the end of this month. Just check that we've got our... Uh, Yep, that should be done now. Hmm. Maybe there's a problem with a logging camp. Hmm. We definitely just need a little bit more. Three timber now, so we're just looking for one more bit of timber. There we go, four timber. So now we can... Ah, uh... oh, but now we're missing the tavern supply, so... Typical. Just got to wait a little bit for that. There we go. That can now be upgraded to level 3 as well. Alright, so look, we can see these houses now. These big, big houses. And now they're at the maximum, which is level 3. And that is going to be enough to give us another plot. So we now have 3 um, that are going to be at level 3. We have 2 at level... Uh, sorry, 7 at level 2. And we have 10 at level 1, which is all that we needed. And if we look at this now... Uh, for level three, we need four items of food, fuel, clothing, two church, one tavern, one water. So the amenities are done. Nothing changes there. But the food stall now needs four to keep them happy. All right, and that is a maximum level. And also, approval will fall if they don't have a tavern supply. So we have to keep that tavern supply topped up. Uh, and that means that we need to keep that. There has to be a constant supply coming in here. So there we go. Let's just finish this off so we can get ourselves to a small town, which is the next level. So we're going to progress from a village to a small town. All right, going into May now, uh, checking out the wheat field. We can see the wheat field is there. All right, settlement level increased. We are now a small town. So in order to now go to the next level... We simply need to have the uh, burgage plots at level 3. We need 10 of them. So nice and easy to do. All we need to do is upgrade them. But again, to upgrade them, it costs 25 wealth, 4 timber, 8 planks, and 4 roof tiles. So we need to make sure as we're doing this, it's going to cost money. So we have to make sure as we're doing this, we're going to upgrade these ones first. Because this gives us extra family space. But also, the most important thing... Oh, that's only going up to level 2. That's going up to level 3. That one's going up to level 3 as well. But we're running out of money, so we want to make sure. And now we've run out of timber to go to level 2 on that one. So, yeah, keeping an eye here. As you can see, really starting to upgrade this town now. Get into a place where we've got another point that we can use. Uh, we can do advanced skinning, or we can also collect hides from traps, which would be really nice to be able to do that. But doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters. 
It's kind of tempting to go for that. Also kind of tempting to get the bread and the firewood constantly coming in. Um, there's not that much now to do. Uh, irrigation uh, for droughts, which is something that was going to come in later. We don't have that at the moment. Rye cultivation unlocks rye crop fields. Similar to wheat, rye can process into flour, but is more resilient and for grow places with low fertility. Fertilization is an offense upgrade. Allows you to use a fallow field as a pasture, which rapidly restores lost qualities. And a bakery. Bakery extension um, to do bread. So, as you can see, still lots of stuff that's locked in early access, so that will all come later. Um, but for now, for now, there is um, there's a lot that we can do here. So we're actually going to go for the advanced skinning, and that's going to give us that ability. Uh, we're not going to do anything else here at the moment. That is going to decrease some approval, but uh, we can do that if we want to sign up. We can change it if we want to, so we can actually change it. All right, these are all work in progress because these are all early access, so stuff that will come later. So taxation's not that bad. We're looking quite good. We're now expanding, uh, continuing to grow. And now is a good opportunity to check in. Now is a good opportunity to check in. So everything that's being built is great, but we want to make sure that we're, you know, people are happy. We don't want people to be upset. And if they are, we want to know why they're upset. And overall, everyone here seems to be quite happy. Over here, what we need to do is check what's possibly going wrong. So at the moment, this is 82% happy. Everything's good. So everyone's just kind of working. They're doing their thing. Now, it would be nice if we ticked over some money and we were able to do that. We need a church uh, to be able to do that. So we do need to be able to build a church here. So having somebody working in a saw pit, we have a lot of people that have joined now. Um, so the logging camp, we can obviously get a few people out here. Uh, the tannery, we can uh, get a couple more people out here. But what's more important is the hunting camp. We'll get two in there. Uh, and we can actually build out this, this forager hut. We've got so many people that can do that now. So we can completely empty this rich deposit. Same here with the animals. And then we can export them. This is heavier than it looks. So that's one of the things that we're going to look to do now. So uh, logging camp is working. That's great. Pack station's there. Saw pit is working. That's great. Person in the granary, person in there. Tannery is working, that's great. Because that's going to make clothes for us. So we've pretty much got everything we need at the moment. We're just going to max out this storehouse, which we're going to upgrade. Uh, we'll do the same for the granary. We'll upgrade that as well. And we're good. So that place is going really well right now. Coming back over to here. Also, it's worth mentioning that this is our overall... Um, influence and so we can increase this influence by simply adding more buildings here so if we were to do the construction here one of the things that we can add is a church for that we need stone and we need these so we can get these guys working now there is going to be a stone deposit here so if i go to mining the stone just need to find it it's right there so it's very very close so we'll just put that down there All right, so what's going to happen now is they're going to collect the stone. They're going to be doing that. We'll have enough to get our church down. We'll do exactly the same layout as we did before, just to keep it simple so we understand it. And there we go. So you don't even need to build these extra plots here if you don't want to. You can simply just upgrade these to level 3, and that will give you that extra space. But remember, your approval rating will go down if you don't have enough um, ale. So you do need to make sure you've got a constant supply of ale. Now, uh, Emerith is being claimed. And that is the one in this back corner here. Which is the other one we wanted. So this was the one that had the stone supply. Uh, which was a lot of stone that we could have used. It's not a problem. We don't need it. But it would have been nice to have this one. So now we're going to look. Uh, this is going to be their fourth one. We really want to get this third one in the middle here. And we could really do with getting this fourth one in the corner here. So at least we're... Uh, we, we're claiming some equal land. Um, but that's something that's going to come in time. For now, uh, the most important thing at the moment is to make sure that we have our residents. So in terms of families, as you can see, three separate families now working here. Or three out of four. So we have 45 homes now, living spaces. So if we can get this up to 75, we're getting two in per month. Again, if we did this in two separate locations, potentially looking at a couple of hundred people. 
which is great because you can then send them uh, to battle together. All right, I think you've got everything you need at this stage. I don't think there's anything else we haven't covered. Uh, the tavern is working. That is fine. It is making ale. We can keep an eye on this up here. Uh, so one of the things we want to look at is we're running out of malt. Uh, so we could do get another field set up. Uh, we definitely need to get some more people in the farmhouse. So that's another thing we can do. Especially looking at where we are in terms of progress here. We could bring the tax down if we needed to. Um, but we kind of want it up at the moment because that's how we're going to upgrade these uh, plots of land. This one's only a level 1, unfortunately, and that's because it needs more food. It's struggling. This one is uh, being upgraded, but it's taking its time. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on this series. Take care, and uh, I look forward to enjoying some more Manor Lords with you in the near future. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.